Good day, guys. So uh, we're on to this final for the day. Final. Yeah, I just shot this in one day. So like I'm saying final for the day, but I'm not going to post this on the same day. But anyway, we're going to have the final for this series for the moment. Uh, I, I've had this series regarding talking about two lenses that are similar that I've used. And I'm going to tell you my review, my views, my, my thoughts, and uh, my recommendations regarding these lenses. So for now, uh, it's... The two of the best lenses that uh, Sony has. It's just, it's the 50 1.4, 1.2, and this is the 50 1.4. Got myself confused there. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna talk about these two lenses. But anyway, before anything else, I'm gonna give you the disclaimer for now. I don't prepare for all these videos, I don't make a script, I don't rehearse it. So if I mess up, if I make a mistake, that's me. And I can't be bothered because I'm too lazy. Also, I'm not sponsored in any way with, with Sony or any of these things. Like you can see my logo in my head, but I'm not sponsored with them. If I was, I'd, I'd be happy I'd tell you, but I'm not. So yeah, that's it. Just to clarify that one out. Anyway, yeah, so let's talk about the lenses. Uh, these two lenses are the G Master lenses from Sony. The G Master. They, they, these two are G Master lenses from Sony. C calling them masters, like they're the best lenses that Sony has made. Uh, I first acquired a 51.2 because it was first released and I was so happy. This lens is like epic. It's so sharp. The, 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 the front element is concave, a curve going inside. It was like awesome. Uh, I take good photos of it. The focusing is so good. It's really, it's really the holy grail of uh, the 51.2, I mean the 50 mil for Sony. I love it. But the problem that I have with this lens is, is that it's too big like I find it a bit heavy and it's too big of course it's a 1.2 you would need it to have bigger uh, but uh, yeah this lens here is just it has two motors it makes it, it makes the focusing quick but yeah it's it's uh, the size is taking a toll like I'm afraid that I might drop it now I'm, I'm holding it it's too big it's a bit heavy and uh, that's what I didn't like about the 85 1.4 G Master because uh, when you hold it it's like it's like that I love the Canon 51.2 because it was small and was like tiny only problem with that I had with that lens is that it has chromatic aberrations and if you sharpen it up you can see the chromatic aberrations it pulls out a bit and it's a bit blurry and the chromatic chroma is gone so like I don't know I had problems with that lens but I really love that lens this one this is the holy grail I really love it for 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 days I've had this lens and uh, I really love it and come at months and months and months after Sony released uh, the, G Ma the G Master 51.4, which is this lens here. And this lens is, the slice is so good. It's small. The filter thread is 67 mil, which works with my 35 mil, my 24 mil. Most of my Sony lenses, I have a 67 mil. This one has the, I forgot this, I think it's a 72. Yeah, 72 mil for this one. So if you're gonna put any filters on this one, you can just use your old 67 mil, which is common. You can buy Freewell, you can buy Peter McKinnon, Polar Pro, whatever. I even got a, got a, I'm not sponsored, yeah. But I even got the Polar Pro uh, filter, UV filter on it. So it's very good. This, this is, this is so good. Uh, yeah, so uh, the thing is, uh, I love that 1.2, but the thing is, practicality-wise, whenever I'm um, in the field, I use this lenses a lot. I, I carry the camera bodies a lot. I love this, this the light lenses. I it work If it works good with my A7C2, I can do it, because this is my daily camera, daily carry. I can use it with that. If I'm gonna do simple gigs, I can use that camera. I can use the big ones, but I love using the A7C2. And this one is just balances well with that camera. So that's why I really love this lens here. I might be over, yeah, I'm feeling it. But anyway, yeah, I really love this lens here. Uh, if you were to ask me and I didn't have any of these lenses and I didn't have any money and everything, I'm couplet broke and everything and I just have to choose one lens. My initial reaction is I would love to get the 1.2 because it's the holy grail. Like whatever happens, I'm just gonna get the best lens ever. But lately, I've been doing a lot of videos, a lot of photos, a lot of work and everything. This one has become heavy for me to carry. Uh, this one ends up in my bag. I, I use the 35mm 1.8 most of the times. And other lenses that are lighter, when I use this, yeah, I love this lens, but still, I can find the, the size and the weight is, 
is making me not use it that much. I just acquired this lens and I've shot a, a pre-wedding just recently. It's, it's, it's too early for me to like uh, give you a firm decision that this is the best lens, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm really enjoying it. Like if I didn't have money now and I have to buy one lens, yes, I'll think about this, but I, I advise you to get this lens here. You'll enjoy it more. You'll love it more. It's light. It's really good. It's not that expensive. So yeah, it, as much as real talk, you would want to get the best lens. I would get the best lens, but I would advise you to get this, the 51.4, because it's, it's really good. The size, the quality, the filter to thread, it's everything that uh, I've asked for. If it was 1.2, I'd really love it, but hell, 1.4 is good enough. So yeah, that's bottom line. If you want to get one, just get this. You were expecting for me to say this, yeah. I was expecting myself to say this, but I kind of really love this as of now. Maybe in the future it would change. I'll give you an update for that.